Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggy. This is going to be Urban versus Jiraiya Game 4 of BSL 17 Hasu League Semi-Final. Bottom right hand corner, we have Urban as the gray Zerg. Upper left hand corner, we have Jiraiya as the white Zerg. Before you ask, no, I cannot swap colors because otherwise it would be yellow versus yellow, which would be even worse. This is going to be on Invader. And I got to say, after that last match, I don't know that I would be tilted if I was Jiraiya, but I would certainly be intimidated by the swath of options that are open to Urban. We'll see if Urban goes for the Nine Hatchery once again. So he did in game one, game two. I know that Nine Hatchery isn't his standard ZVZ opener, and he actually has a wide variety of ZZ, ZVZ builds. And I'm almost wondering if on a four player map, along these lines, if he's going to open up, if Jiraiya is going to open up with the Nine Pool, because that or the Nine Hatch, that's definitely in his repertoire. And maybe try for his own kind of inversion. And I'm wondering if Urban's going to mind game it and go for a 12 Hatchery himself. Either way, Jiraiya, on the precipice of elimination, he's done so well up to this stage. Let's see if we can go to a game five. Overlords going to the bottom left-hand corner and top right-hand corner, respectively. So neither player going to end up with the vision advantage, so it is going to be heads up. Overlord opener, it looks like on both ends. And we might see a 12 hatch. I think we are gonna see double 12 hatch. So we might see an interesting long macro game. Actually, sorry, interior base hatchery for Urban, where we have a true 12 hatch upper left hand corner for Jiraiya. So, Urban going to have less of an opportunity to get beneficial resources out of his expansion. This is going to give him an equalized amount of larva. The one advantage that Urban will have overall is simply that he has a more compact base to defend. Less surface area that he needs to negotiate overall. If he decides upon seeing that natural expansion up of his opponent, if he decides to alternate and shift things. That was actually, I want to note this clever movement by Jiraiya. Noticing that he did not hit cross overlord pattern here, immediately did the overlord shift to the bottom right, which is actually going to buy him a lot of time. Urban did not make that same adjustment. In the meantime, he is sending an overlord cross map. Spawning pool is up. Urban in the dark. Currently things bode well for Jiraiya, I would say. If I was going to if I was going to put odds right this second, I would say Jiraiya in a pretty strong position. Overlord built. Let's see how quickly though Jiraiya, because really the advantage of this natural expansion is not necessarily the access to the mineral field, it is the access to the second gas. Zergling speed being upgraded post layer, no layer tech at all for Urban. Urban does look like he wants to go for Lair, because he's still mining gas. Zerglings making their way across the field, one Zergling making its way across from Urban. Zergling wall on the front for Jiraiya. And honestly, not a lot of Zerglings out on the front for Urban. Jiraiya, however, somehow up two workers. Even supply and up two workers. I'm kind of curious what happened there as far as the math goes. There's the rest of the Zerglings blockading the ramp for Urban. So right now Jiraiya knows this might throw Jiraiya off a little bit because he, he recognizes there's no natural. But we'll see. He's dropping that spire. Layer's going to be significantly later for Urban here. He's pocketed a lot of Zerglings to go for... And this is going to be challenging for Urban because first of all he's going to have to attack cross map and he's going to want to do it right on that. He's going to want to do it right around the spire timing. And this overlord is going to close in to be able to spot. So nice timing there from Urban, although a pocket of Zerglings not going to be alongside. Some counter Zerglings making their way across from Jiraiya. Are they going to engage? Jiraiya now scrambling. A couple of them getting caught. It's really hard to tell with these colors who's ending up with the advantage. Urban with a closer reinforcement point ending up with a faster swarm. Supply suggests that Urban is in fact way ahead as far as raw Zerglings. Jiraiya right now up five workers. Has that second colony, second colony halfway complete, so that might be a differential here. 
Urban's, I think if he's going to win, he's got to win it here. Drone's pulling off the line to help defend, recognizing it. Urban trying to back off, getting repelled right this second. Spire dropping. Drone's a little bit overextended, so they might get picked off. The ramp undefended as well. Never mind. Man, it's really hard to sell with these colors. Urban shuffling more Zerglings ac across. So Spire is now finished, but Jiraiya not mining. So despite... Okay, now he's going to go ahead and drop the second gas, and he's going to mine that natural expansion so that he has some of the defensive Zerglings that he can send. So the defensive drones, I should say. So should Urban shoot this gap, he can go ahead and cycle back around and mix it up here at the natural. So it looks like this is Jiraiya's game to lose. More Zerglings, however, piling up outside the natural. They're not spotted right now by an Overlord, though, from Jiraiya overall, at least on the pathing. So I'm not sure if he's aware. Scourge moving out. Urban shooting the gap, going for the ramp initially, also working on that sunken colony. So he's actually got these Zerglings pinned back. So the bulk of Jiraiya's Zerglings not able to engage, but the Mutalisks also spawning. A lot of drones losing their lives. And that's negating that natural expansion. And because all of the drones were at the natural, and Jiraiya not pulling the trigger to bring them in the fight, they're getting wiped out in mass. Oh my goodness. All of a sudden, a huge shift in fate. And Urban sneaking the Zerglings out to the corner. So now Urban up a massive amount of workers. Still working on... The drones. It looks like the Scourge making their way out. Where are the Mutalists? The Mutalists are still sitting at the natural expansion. The Spire's finished opposite side, and Urban in the red. So it looks like he lost an Overlord, but hasn't equalized. So first of all, he's up on workers. Still doesn't have the advantage of the natural, so he's going to be down on gas. But might end up with more Mutalists overall. He's actually trying to, I think, throw these Zerglings up to expend to go ahead and free up some supplies. So we got seven Mutalists versus four. Urban making his way out. I think he recognizes he's got an opportunity here with the economic lead right this second, but needs to cap that economic lead. Jiraiya actually going for a round of drones, potentially at the worst pop possible moment, but Urban holding short. We have a defensive sunken colony being built as a, a swarm of Zerglings are making their way across, so Urban is going to have to defend the Scourge spawn. It's going to come down to micro right this second, so if Urban's going to win this game right here, it's going to come down to Micro. It looks like in instead, however, the Mutalist being drawn back. Unfortunately, Urban's... Or it's, never mind. It's just a, a map thing. The drone's trying to defend themselves. A single Mutalist spawned is going to be able to clean up and defend that sunken colony. Before... Our, well, I was about to say before any drones die, but it looks like it's really hard to tell with these colors. The drones... One drone dies, so Urban now down two. Has some additional Scourge. He's looking at a Mutalist count of nine... Six Scourge in the way, and a counter Mutalisk, so he's up three Mutalisks if he can just deal with the Scourge. Starting to fan out right this second, no additional Zerglings out on the ground. Just Scourge being built, but a lot of the Scourge are cross-mapped now for Jiraiya. And Urban building some additional Zerglings to fan out as well. So it's going to be a strike at the main, the Scourge that might have been the difference in that fight for Jiraiya completely out of position, so he's going to be forced into a fight. That's going to be emptied gas, and Urban going to end up with the Mutalisk lead back at the main. The drones wiped out there, forced fight, the Mutalisk drawing to the main, nothing being left at the natural, which is allowing the, well, single Mutalisk being drawn there, but I don't know that's going to be sufficient. Now, a bit of a dodge in between. Micro, now the Scourge have re-arrived, but it's going to be a Scourge drill, and Urban gets almost all of the Scourge. Four more making their way in. One lands. But the Zerglings have emptied that natural expansion. They're going to go ahead and rejoin towards the main. Urban redrawing after that victory. And Jiraiya back down to four drones. Talk about constant change of fortunes. Seven drones back up now for Jiraiya after a group of building. Urban with a supply lead, trying to draw back to his main so he can regroup and defend himself versus the Scourge, at which point I assume he's going to just drop right back out on the map. Manages to pick off both of them. More Scourge moving in to try to buy Jiraiya time. Great micro from Urban. Some overlords up in the corner right there. I'm trying to figure out where they are on the field. And now Urban has to feel good. He's up eight versus two. 
and has the supply lead. More Scourge being built for Jiraiya to try to buy time. But Urban looks like if he can just take out a couple of these Scourge, he's going to be heading to a BSL championship. One Scourge picked off, second Scourge picked off, and now it's two Mutalisks and Free Assault. Jiraiya has to be careful because the Splash will actually end up hitting his Scourge, making them sometimes easier to kill. Ugh. Re-engaged, another one picked off, and one lands out of all of that. A drone picked off, second one lands, but on this, an additional, a different Mutalisk, so that additional Mutalisk is going to stand, and now some Counter Scourge are in position. That second gas is wiped out, and Jiraiya's economy is shattered. He has no defense. And two Zerglings moving in as well. Well played by Urban. He is going to move on to face range in the final. It looks like it's going to be an all-US final. Great one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.